Advanced technologies offer us new ways to strengthen our capacity to surprise. Uh, progress in the field of detections help us to delineate our adversary layout, which is key to know where to apply our main efforts. Above all, new technologies enable us to accelerate the pace of combat. A widely networked units can better share information, so its decision cycle is shortened. Digital information sharing also allows us to have a better common operational pictures. This allows uh, border maneuvers and a more accurate coordination between units. Technological progress have effects on all the factors promoting surprise, that is to say intelligence, secret, deception and speed. It's important to underline the fact that according to the nature of war, surprise is deeply linked to uncertainty, the fog of war and friction. Surprise is a complex phenomenon. Everything depends on the relationship of oneself to the other. To be able to surprise, you have to understand what your adversary is expected and doing something really different. Here we don't have enough time to develop all the proposals we can make to uh, improve the capability of our armed forces to surprise, but I want to insist on uh, the main cultural factors. Uh, first, surprise must be at the heart of our doctrine and recognized as a real principle of war. Second, our ability to surprise really depends on military cultures. Orig originality is a key point to be able to surprise. Finally, military culture must encourage risk-taking because it's, it's closely linked to surprise. Most of the time, to be able to surprise, one has to deliberately weaken himself. And this is not natural for a military leader. So we need uh, bold military leaders.